For the first time, a New Zealander has won a prestigious worldwide equestrian championship road to the horse. The event in Kentucky in the US gives competitors just three hours to tame and break in a wild horse and then take it through a complex obstacle course. Vicky Wilson from Keeping Up With The Kaimanawa's Fame was the first New Zealander to ever compete, the first competitor from an English discipline to compete from an English discipline. I don't know what that means. And with a female friend as her help, her team was the first all-female team to win. There's the prize purse, 140 grand. Nice work if you can get it. And she did it all with a dislocated shoulder, which is pretty amazing. Vicky spoke to Zach Fleming from New York this morning. Well, the first day, it was definitely not on my plan. Um, <laughs> didn't go through the notes and write dislocated shoulder in there. But it was, it was really interesting because I went to hop off the horse, I was there about to put his head down and so I went to just twist and even before my leg had swung over his back, my shoulder had, had popped out and um, I just hit the ground with the pain from that and we walked out and I said, is the team physio here? And they went running off for it and I'd had a previous injury on my other shoulder so I kind of knew how to play around and get that shoulder popped back in and it worked and so I walked back into that round yard thinking that I wouldn't be able to ride him again. So we did some more groundwork, and then I think it was the last couple of minutes, I was like, no, I didn't come all the way here from New Zealand to uh, walk on the ground and stay on the ground. So I hopped back on, and we got him riding a little, and I guess it was the same the next day. Like, the first night, every hour we woke up, we iced it. I worked my muscles to keep it going throughout the night. Uh, we had a meeting with the team physio, and he had strapped it, and um, he said, you just got to go in there and only do what you can, and... As soon as I walked in that round yard, it was like, no, this is what I came here for. And so these horses are literally untouched. They've never been ridden before, and you get them, and you get how long to, to break them in? Yeah, so the first day we have an hour, 45 minutes, which is 15 minutes has to be outside the round pen for rest time. Um, so initially that's your first catch, your first time you put a halter on it and you're teaching it your groundwork. Uh, a couple of us would sit on it the very first time in the hour and a half. The second day, we had exactly the same time. And that was laying the foundation for your riding, your steerage, your obstacles. And then the third day, it was straight into a 45-minute judged catching round pin time, preparing it to go outside. You had a, a rail work, so we had to do a set pattern. And then it was the obstacles, mystery ob obstacle, and then a freestyle. So it was it was pretty insane. And this horse that you broke in and, and won this competition with, you're bringing it back home, is that right? Yeah, we I had named him before I even met him. I just decided that any colt I got or chose, I was going to call Kentucky, just because uh, state of Kentucky, the Kentucky Horse Park. Um, it was just an incredible feeling being there, and I wanted something with a little bit of memory. And um, when we chose number twelve. Um, he was really my type of horse. He just had a look to him that um, was a little bit more English, moved beautifully. Um, and the first day I did question my choice. Um, but on the last day, he really dug deep and gave me everything. And the amount of trust he showed me, I was like, I can't leave that little horse behind. When you say the amount of trust he showed you, for someone who doesn't <clears throat> ride horses or know much about equestrian, what do you mean by that? How do you, how do you quantify that? Well, you, you're asking a horse that's had three hours handling uh, with humans in a, in a big indoor stadium with lights and music and 8,000 cheering fans to be able to concentrate on a crazy pink uh, obstacle course that I didn't think was possible, but to be able to finish and complete the entire obstacle course and then to be able to remove my saddle and trot around and do some more obstacles without my saddle on, that horse showed me a huge amount of trust. It's quite a remarkable event. I'd never heard of it. Vicky Wilkins, uh, Vicky Wilson, who won it. You get a wild horse three hours later. You compete on it. 140 grand first prize.